Three frontrunners in the COVID-19 vaccine race are being developed by Moderna, Oxford University, and Pfizer. And they're speeding up the process by producing the vaccine now. I think really why things are moving faster this time is that a lot of the steps to research and development are being done at the same time. So as vaccines are being developed and they're being tested at clinical trials, at the same time, they're being produced and plans for distribution are being made as well so that there's no delay from one phase to the other phase of getting the vaccine out to the general public. But is faster safer? Before a vaccine can be brought to market, it has to undergo phase three testing. And in phase three testing, the vaccine candidates are given to tens of thousands of people to determine that they're not only safe, but also effective. If the vaccine is not safe, the clinical trial will be stopped and that vaccine will not be brought to market. Can you get COVID-19 from a COVID-19 vaccine? Similar to the flu shot, the coronavirus vaccines are very unlikely to cause full-blown coronavirus. And the reason for this is that the live virus is not placed into the vaccines. The virus is either inactivated, weakened in some way, or it's modified. Dr. Maida says once available, the vaccine will most likely be given first to frontline medical workers, emergency responders, and those at high risk, such as people over 65 or with secondary conditions. She also recommends that once a vaccine is available, people continue to wear a mask. There are a lot of unknowns about these vaccines currently. We don't know how effective they're going to be, and we don't know how long the immunity is going to last. And so we still have to continue our public health mitigation strategies to try to combat this virus, such as wearing your mask, washing your hands, and doing social distancing. In Morgantown, for the WVU Medicine Health Report, I'm Mary Ravazio-Menard.